Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with the fifth puzzle in what was submitted to me as the Templar puzzle set by Chip Sounder. These are the first puzzles that Chip has ever created, um, and a tester put them together as a puzzle set for me to have a look at. This is a 6x6 Sudoku, but apparently it doesn't use a chess constraint. So um, I was wrong about how these are sitting. So, okay. Um, not sure on the Templar thing then, but whatever. So uh, what do we have? A link below to the puzzle and to all of the details. So uh, what do we have? Normal 6x6 Sudoku rules apply. So each column, each row, and each 2x3 region must contain the digits 1 through 6 without repetition. Digits that appear in the same, or cells that appear in the same position within a box cannot contain the same digit. This is the disjoint rule. So what it means is if I was to highlight these squares, those cannot contain the same digit. The same would be true of these ones because these are the same position. So these would be position, say one, two, three, four. This would be position four in the regions. They cannot be the same. This would be position five in the region and no digit in position five may repeat. Um, disjoint can be really tricky to scan. I've not done a disjoint on um, a six by six. So we'll see how this goes. Digits on a gray line must read the same forwards and backwards. So that's a palindrome. Digits within a circle must appear at least once in the four cells touching that circle. So we know these are one, two, three, four. These are three, four, five, six. These are one, two, three, four. So these are very heavily populated quadruple circles. Uh, digits in a cage sum to the total given in the top left corner of the cage. These two cells sum to seven. Um, digits cannot repeat within a cage. Okay. Digits on a gray square are even. We know these are even. And cells separated by a black dot or digits separated by a black dot are in a one to two ratio. Not all dots are given. Okay, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So rather than pencil mark this as one, two, three, four, we probably just want to say these are five and six. So this is five and six. This can only be two or four because it must be even. Um, this can only be four or six because it must be even. And these are one and two. Uh, this must be five and six because it can't be one, two, three, four. This must be one and two. This can only be four or six. This can only be one or two. Okay. I keep thinking chest constraint, but there isn't one here. So am I coloring one twos? Because, well, I can't put one two because these are the one two. Oh, sorry, this isn't one, two. This is two, four. That's better. So what... So these, maybe I am colouring, these digits are the same and therefore go into... Well, this is a five or a six. These digits are the same, but they could be yellow. Yellow is in one of those two. So these, yeah, these are just from three, four, five, six. I know that. These two digits are the same as well. Huh. I feel it's got to be this seven cage, but this could be one six, making both of those five, two five, making both of those six, or three four. It can't, right, right, no, it can't be three four. Use quadruples. This is three four, this is three four, and these are the same. Did, right, one, two, five, six, one, two, five, six. These were three fours, and these are the same digit. So these are the same digit, but this now can't be three, four. So if this, so this is yellow, because if this was one, six, it would see both of those, and those would both be five. And if this is two, five, it would see both of those, this in the box and this in the row, and these would both be six. These are yellow. And this can't be five, six, or this would be one, two. So this is one, two, and therefore, this can't be a three because three could only go with six. So this is four and two. These are three. This is four. So this must be one six. So the yellow is five and I can get rid of all of the coloring. 
get rid of the coloring as soon as possible is my motto. This becomes the two. This is the six. Now, it's disjoint. I've got to remember the disjoint. This four makes this six. The six makes this one and this six. I haven't used those yet. But this one makes that two and that one. Putting one right here. These are two, three, and four. There's no two there. Six is in one of those two. So that's the six. Yeah, that's a six. Scanning disjoint. I'm just, I struggle with it. But that's okay. I think everyone else does as well. So these are three, four, and five. There must be a five in one of those two. So there's no five there, but there's also no five there. That's the five, which makes this the five. There's no two here. That's a three, four pair. That's a two. Um, this is disjoint scanning I am failing at. This is three or four. So, th right. This is one, two, five, six in the bottom center. So this is three or four giving me a three, four pair, making that the two, that the one, that the two. There's a one in one of those. This is one, three, four. I keep thinking it's that six, but I can't see it. So I've got two, four, five. So the two, four, and five. So yeah, that four sees that one. That can't be a four because of that. That's the six. So that's the one. So this would be not the one, this is the one, but this is seeing that four. So that's the three, that's the four, that's the three, that's the four, that's the three, that's the four. The three looks up making that the four, that's the six, and this has to be the three, which finishes the puzzle. Another quick one, but interesting use of disjoint. And yeah, I just needed to complete these columns to understand what was going on with this seven cage. I realized the seven cage was going to be important, but I forgot to do my quadruples tricks. Oh, well, um, yeah, no, that was very, very cool. I like that one. Again, not too tricky. Possibly there was a lot going on um, with a lot of different constraints in play, but yeah, nothing wrong with just a nice little, this is barely even a coffee break, but a nice little fun puzzle. Um, thank you, Chip, for having these puzzles. They've been a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, let's see what the next ones are. Only a couple left. Hope you're enjoying them. And as always, good luck with your solving.